it's Jules here with Beanie. Hello. And welcome back to another episode of the Monday Night War. Set on the one and only Brobna. And today we have a super special battle report because we are going to the realms of Kill Team and testing out a brand new team in the form of the Chaos Legionaries as they go up against the battle-hardened Krieg. That's right, baby. The sexy waifu is back on this horrifying little scrap town that we've got here because it is time to tell yet another chapter of everyone's favourite Brobnarian sexy story, The Naughty Nun Ooh. Part too. That's right. So what's happened here is that the naughty nun herself, as represented by the little sexy waifu that we've got here, has obviously there's data terminals with elements of little extracts of this fragments. very fragments of this uh, very, very pornographic thing that some in the Imperium want banned and some want to spread like the flames of chaos around the galaxy. Now, these take place on these four objectives here. These are data terminals where some people can draw from the ether those mildly pornographic images in order to satiate themselves in the battles ahead and what we're going to be doing is at the end of every single turning point we're going to roll a dice and randomly remove one of these from the battlefield so that means at the end of all turning points there will be one objective worth fighting for which is where the true essence of the naughty nun lies so you'll get one victory point for holding on to an objective uh, each turning point and obviously they will dwindle down until we have a winner so that's what we're playing at for today Let's go and meet the teams. So oh, let's start with the brand new Chaos Legionaries that are here. Ooh, me, oh my. There's Ooh, a lot. Nice. There are a lot of deadly boys over here. We've got a uh, demon sword wielding uh, champion at the front. We've got a Balefire Acolyte to his left. We've got a Shrive Talon at the back who is uh, very good at stabbing things and making grisly trophies, which will uh, remove some of your APL to make you afraid of all the bodies he's desecrating over there. We've got a Goo. Una over there with a lovely heavy weapon. We've got a butcher with a giant uh, power axe that he's got there, which does Billy. Billy the Butcher indeed from the Thank boys. You. Um he is uh, an absolute monster in combat. He will re-roll all ones if I'm the attacker, <laughs> and then if you're the one that charged me, he'll re-roll everything, <laughs> which is just brutal. That's, that's so hard. <laughs> no, uh, and then we've got a, uh, a Reaper chain talon wielding heavy gunner over here. Now, the mm -hmm. reason I've uh, sort of gone through these guys pretty quickly is because there's extra rules to ply on top of them, of course. There is this, this Warhammer after all. Now, I have to dedicate each of my boys to a different Chaos God. And you can't have certain mixtures. You can't have uh, Korn and Slanesh together. You can't have Nurgle and Zinch together. So what I've done is I've split them right down the middle and saying that this guy over here, this guy over here, this guy over here, this guy over here, these guys. So close. I know, right? These guys over here, they're all Zinch. And over here, these guys are all Slanesh. That will give me access to certain stratagems uh, and tactical ploys that are only for those relevant keywords. But it also gives me a little buff for each of them just permanently. The buff for the Slanesh ones is that they can move an extra inch whenever they do a move action, which is fantastic. And over here, these guys get a very interesting one, which is that they can count one of their range shots of a five up as being a critical hit per shooting. Oh, so they got like a little bit of lethal. A little bit of lethal. Just a little, bit little of touch of lethal. Now, um, there's some other factors as well, such as I can cast spells with my Balefire Acolyte. I've got access to some crazy combat strats over there with those guys there, but they will come up as and when, because there's a lot to take in, my friends. So that is my legionary kill team. Split down the middle, and now we move over to the Krieg. So, Beanie, tell us about these Krieg boys. So, this time I counted, and there is in fact ten Krieg men on the table. <laughs> and you'll also note that there is four grey men at the back who are going to stand in as the four additional veteran guardsmen for me today. Now, I love this, because you're not taking any sort of, like, what they call it again, the assets that you can add on to it. You've just chosen four extra grunts, and they yeah. are so green that they are grey. I exactly. love that. But you know him, you love him, you've got your, like, your regular boys, you've got your leader over here, you've got your sniper, you've got your demolitions experts, you've got a flamethrower guy, you've got a spotter. Power, kind of oh, powery veteran fist. You love this guy because of his feel no pain. Do you remember you yeah. rolled all of them and he basically shrugged every <laughs> single one against my thug grin. I was, like, that, I was like, what is going on here? <laughs> Ridiculous. So yeah, it's the Krieg. You know them, you love them, and obviously, if you're chaos, you want to see them dead. So let's get they over to. They want to see themselves dead. But yeah, that's very true. But they want to see the naughty nun before they go into true. the great beyond. So let's get set up 
and get ready for battle. We begin today's battle report. Why not become a member, subscriber, or an absolute legend and join our Discord for the Live and Let's Dice family? Uh, if you want to do any of those, you can follow Beanie on the social medias at... And you can follow me on the social medias at RetroJ, but the O is a zero. All the links to uh, the Discord and all the other fun stuff are down in the comments section below. Now let's get on with the battle. So here we are after deployment and... Um, well, Beanie's gone a bit crazy with the ungage option over here because look, one, two, three, four, uh, five, six, seven, eight, eight of his nine, nine, nine of his fourteen operatives are on ungage, which means that I am going to be lit up like a Christmas tree if I so much as poke my chaosy head out of the shadows. So in response, because I, I won the roll-off, so I made him deploy all of his team first, I've put a lot of my guys, what little there are, onto defensive concealment. So concealment on the Shrive Talon, we've got concealment on the Champion, concealment on the Butcher, even though he hates being put on conceal because of how loud his chain axe is, even over onto the, um, uh, the Reaper chain challenge over here. But I have put the Gunner and the Baleflyer Acolyte on Ngarge to push forward into here and maybe do some damage turn one if I am so lucky. And because it is a custom mission, we're not playing by the rules of attacker or defender goes first. So we're just going to roll off for turn one, which we're going to do live on whoa, camera. Whoa, whoa, the whoa, pressure's whoa. on, Bean. An Ean versus a Dean. Okay, so I Die. will... No, it's a <laughs> de it's Dean. Ean, Dean, Treen. Queen. That's how it works, isn't it, in Welsh? Anyway, so I'll be going first um, as we move into turning point. The first. Let's get it on. So before the game begins, I have the favour of the Dark Gods to enact. Now, that means that I get to, because my champion has the mark of chaos keyword, it means I get to play a strategic ploy with the same keyword for free. And because of the fact that I might as well, I'm not going to play anything else. I'm just going to put delicious agony. So if I do Ooh, somehow yum. get into combat with Beanie on turn one, I do not think that's going to happen. Then I get to resolve two of my attacks against him instead of just the one if he is Injured, delicious, agony. It's everything you could want. Are you paying anything for strategic stuff? Ah, no, Ooh. I thought that we might as well talk Do about the my ability. Sure so. thing. So we're doing some guardsman orders over here. Tell us about what's going on, my friend. Okay, so because my guardsman, uh, well, Sarge, is in the middle of everybody, mm -hmm. I've decided that I'm going to go with move, move, move to give everyone an extra, an extra inch that's within... Six inches of him. So it's pretty much most of them apart from this side of the board. Very nice indeed. So they're going to be scrambling forward to collect that naughty nun data. Right, they let's want it. get it on. Okay, so I've kicked things off as I mean to carry on with fiery vengeance and fury because I have moved my Balefire Acolyte forward and now I am shooting or shooting a fire blast all the way down the line onto this exposed guardsman over here. Now, this is a bit of a stinker if it goes off because it's four dice hitting on threes. Obviously, I get to retain one of them as a critical hit if it's a five because he is marked by Zinch. But here's the real thing. No cover. Blast, splash one. Blast of two inch radius means that every single person within two inches of this guy, I'll get to make the same attack against. And for each Should six... Gonna kill half my team, guys. Yeah, I know, right? This could be another diabolic grenade in fireball form, but I could absolutely whip hard. I love to do that. So uh, this is hitting on threes against the guardsman over there. Let's see it. Okay, so I only do get the one... Uh, the one critical through there on that one. So make your saves. It's three saves of five up because you have no cover, so you don't get to retain one. No. None. So he takes the full four damage on that one, and the guys next to him both take a mortal wound. So a mortal wound there, mortal wound there, and a mortal wound there. Keep track of them as we move into the next attack because of blast. We're going to go the other side of the barricade. Okay, one second. So now the same attack against this guy over here. Let's see if I can do slightly better. I do indeed. Okay, so we're going to obviously claim that to be a crit and that to be a crit as well. And a regular hit over there. So it's three saves to make, my friend, and then some mortal wound punishment. No saves made, unfortunately. So that is the full whack of him being very dead. But also, these two here will splash two mortal wounds either side of him. So this guy will take two. This guy is also he, dead now. But he's over two inches. No, because well, he's that, two inches away. But I thought the splash of that was... Splash of this one is also two inches. So he Bye. is dead as well. And that guy takes uh, two mortal wounds on top. Next attack, that side over there. Final fire blast. 
Okay, so there is one successful critical because I'm pumping that up to be... Uh, I need to just double check the, the, the Zinch keyword. No, I'm fine. Each of these is uh, counted as a separate shooting attack. So one regular hit and one super boosted by the uh, big bird man in the sky. Number six. Yay! No saves on that one either. So unfortunately, that is another two mortal wounds to the guy next to him, bringing your captain down to four and a dead man right there. What, dropped six? Uh, yeah, because he got oh. two, two through at four apiece. So that was eight damage in total. So that means after that one fire blast, I managed to take out three enemy operatives. Woof. And then I shall use my final activation to dash back around the corner. He's done his job. I feel like he can retire now. That's him done. Recap time over here. I have moved up with Billy the Butcher. Unfortunately, he's just outside of holding on to that objective, but he's in place to do some damage in the next turning point. I've also moved uh, the Shrive Talent over onto objective number one so that he can hold that down and score me a single Pinto Pointo. Beanie, on the other hand, has moved forward with his... Uh, what's this guy over here? Flamethrower. Flame oh, not looking forward to facing him in combat, but he's holding objective number four and objective number two while also moving his sniper up on top of the fuel pump. Now I have finished my turn by moving this guy up over here and now he's gonna fire down at the exposed regular Duna. Okay so plasma gun going down into the trooper. Four shots hitting on threes and I can boost one five to be a critical hit because of Zinch baby. I only score one hit my dude and it is a four so I cannot boost that up. One save got to make uh that's ap1 so two saves of five up is that right uh -huh. oh he made one so that Yay. means he takes zero damage from the devastating uh plasma fire right there <laughs> boo uh, i am gonna end his turn there as well because i feel like i just want to keep him on point back over to beanie Beanie has responded by pushing forward with this. What is he? A trench sweeper guy with like a so, club? So he's got a club. So he's got yeah. a trench club. He's going to, uh, he can stun people Ooh, in combat. We like stunning rules here. So he's going to fire up at the guy who dared shoot down at his mate. So he's hitting on fours. For not the Emperor! at all. <laughs> I will not even roll my dice there. <laughs> Catch up time. The second, I've moved my champion forward here, wielding his demon blade aloft and shouting all sorts of... Fist hat on it him. might well be a little yeah. skull there. Just a little reference to our old original games of Orcs versus Imperial Fists. Um, okay. Not that I'm bitter about all of those defeats that you handed me summarily at the uh, end of 8th. Uh, and over here, we have now moved the medic forward, who is going to heal up the captain for 2 three wounds. Boshti, that's Why two. <laughs> so he's still not full health. <laughs> he needed to roll the mid middle would have been fine. He'd be happy. But he's okay. He's got the Live and Let Stars logo keeping him warm at night. So there we go. Is that the end of his move? Because it's uh, is that is the heal action? Uh, it eight? costs one. Okay. And he only has two APL, so he's already moved a bit and done a bit of healing. So he's done what he needs to do. Back to me. Okay, so here we are with the action heating up again because Beanie has moved the majority of his kill team. Still a few more guys to move over there, but I've moved all of mine and it is time for five an over... To go. I know, I have five more moves <laughs> on your side. Overwatch time, baby. This guy is going to try his best to finish the job that he started and kill that guy over there who's holding on to objective number two. So he's sitting on fours now. So let's see him. Oh, oh, why did he show up so oh. spectacularly? Okay, so there's AP1 coming in, and these will be, each one of these will be uh, five damage a pop. So here we go. He is so dead, much. obliterated, reduced to mulch. Well done, my friend. And now Beanie's going to move all of the rest of his kill team. Okay, look at the Grand General. And Hello. then look at his army. He has pushed them all forward. Oh. Move, move, move indeed. Pawn, pawn, pawn. <laughs> pawn, pawn, pawn becomes their <laughs> motto as they have all pushed forward in, in pursuit of nudity and lots and lots of <laughs> violence along the way. So this is the way that the world ends. We've got a lot of people moving forward for turning point the second. I've moved up into position over here to hopefully return fire with my heaviest weapons. But if I'm not careful, turning point two could see both of these guys picked off by the long las of the sniper over there and some heavy fire or collective withering fire from all of the boys down there. So at the end of that turning point, I score one victory point for holding one objective and Beanie scores two victory points for having two under his control. So we're deciding now which objective gets removed from the battle field and Beanie is going to roll not a d6 not a d4 but a few ones up d12 is basically what I'm saying Ooh. Ooh. so objective one is gone Ian has gone now we roll off for turning point two's initiative 
Go on, Bean. Let's see it on camera. Oh no! Oh no! He oh, is going. Yes. He is going first for turning point two. So, my friends, at the beginning of turning point two, or Dean, as we now know, is Welsh. Die. I know it's die. I know it's die. Um, so, uh, <laughs> Beanie has uh, declared that he's given an order from his captain, which is to take aim. So, re-roll all hits of one. Is that correct? Yep. As long as they were within. Within him when he yelling. issued the order. Perfect. And then on this side, I paid one CP at the beginning of the turn for protected by fate, which means that this model, this model, and this model, because they have the Zinch keyword, when the uh, resolving defense dice against shooting attacks, I can retain one failed success one failed roll as a success if i roll any crits in those defense and that's a bit complicated but it will make sense when you see it in practice oh and i'm just gonna pay one cp for take cover oh take cover is also being paid as well what does that do my friend so until the end of the turn point each time a shooting attack is made against one of my boys and they're in cover save is plus one Whoa. So they'll have a four up instead of a measly five. That's cool. I like that a lot. Very useful against these guys here. So to kick things off, Beanie has uh, moved over his sniper to you, say it, Bean, for a change. Oh, gosh. Oh, gosh, indeed. And that means that he is now able to fire and then dash down behind the pump yes. over there. So he's shooting at the plasma wielder over here. Hit on so twos. It is hitting on twos. Oh, my giddy aunt. Ooh, that's yeah, yeah, a lot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now, I will be taking some mortals on top of that, I believe, will. won't You'll I? Be taking three. Now, does this have any AP at all uh, attached uh, to it? I don't I'm... think it does. <laughs> so, no APL on this one. So, threes. I've thrown them down into the pit of despair. So, okay, so I've got uh, two, two so. regular saves. So, how much damage am I going to take before I decide whether or not I want to re roll this dice? Okay, so, that would stop six. You would take, in total, including the mortals, yep. nine. Ooh, that is a lot of damage to take. Uh, I am going to spend one CP to re roll this one. And I do not make it, so I will take Ooh. nine damage overall, which brings him down to... Ooh, three wounds left over here. Roblox, oof, indeed. And over here, the sniper is now moved down, laughing to himself maniacally as he does so. Probably just <laughs> go, yeah, going down the rungs, just going, oh, I can't believe I just <laughs> shot him right in the face. Brilliant, brilliant, mate, brilliant. Anyway, it is time for my liquid hot rebuttal. <laughs> So, even though he is wounded, I am going to activate him next, and he's going to fire down onto the guys holding the objective there to try and pull people forward to expose themselves to capture that <laughs> that objective. He's, a poor <laughs> I know, right? He's going to be hitting on fours though now. So let's see if I can get this shot off, baby. I miss with every single shot. Mwah! Dang it. Is it worth the reroll for this or am I just fishing because I won't be able to kill anyone? So no. you know what? I'm just going to leave that as it is. Yeah, just swiftly on. And then I'm going to run away down here and hide, hopefully. Actually, I'm just going to move him straight down here, out of sight, out of out mind. mind yeah. There we go. That's him done. Over to Beanie. So Beanie has decided to push forward with the hardened veteran over to objective number three to basically force me to come out round the corner and in to the mouth of all of these hungry lions <laughs> over here. But before he does that, he's also making a shoot action against my chosen leader. So here we go. It is... Hit on fours. Hit on fours. I got some hits. Two, and I only get three dice to see if I can get that. Uh -huh. <laughs> Luckily, and I survived those uh, few... His pants are filling right now. <laughs> yeah, as I now figure out how best to dispatch him. Do I send in Billy? Do I send in the Chosen? Or do I ignore him right now because I don't have to worry about him and think about what else to do? Okay, so after a long amount of deliberation because of the fact that wherever I move, there's a pretty heavy counter going on with uh, some of Beanie's boys over there, I've decided that I'm just going to go for the simplest option, which is activating my Chosen, who flipped over to Ungaj, and is now firing his uh, plasma pistol right into the face of the hardened veteran, and <laughs> then I'll decide where to move him after that. So this is hitting on threes, fives and six damage apiece. Uh, he hits twice, one with a big bang bazinga bean. It is AP one, so it is two saves of five. Nada, no. so he takes the full whap of, uh, well, six plus five, so 11 damage in total, Choosy. but he has some feel no pains to make, my friends. Does. Does he feel the pain? Does he feel the pain? He feels the pain. A lot of pain. But it's only just dead, though, isn't it? Because one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh, yeah. No, he's, he's yeah, gone. No, he's, he's gone. Very dead. So the Han veteran is out of there. Cool. As he thought he was. And now I've just got to figure out where to move this guy. I think I want to move him away for fear of being flamed alive by that horrible flamethrower. And then in a feat of heroism, he tactically withdrew over to here 
to get ready for the next wave of horror. Sabini has moved forward with the melter gun who is firing down into my corn billy boy butcher over here. So this is how many shots? Four shots. Hitting on fours, but re-rolling the ones because he has the take, take aim, aim order. So let us see my friend. What is what? Oh dear. Oh. That, that ain't good for me. I won't uh, lie. It, remember it's AP2. AP2? Melter gun is AP2. Oh gun no. Is so only one save. And how much damage am I taking already? Six for each. Wow. Okay. And, yeah, but if I had rolled any crits, it would have been four mortal wounds for each crit. Oh and my. Damage God. goes down to three, so it's seven. So I can't save him, I don't think, can I? Maybe. I, well, I got one regular save. So, so you knock it, that off. But that still means that it is six times three. Damage. 18 damage. Billy the Butcher is out of there. Didn't even get a chance to swing the giant axe. So, I have had a lot of thinking to do after losing Billy the Butcher, but I've decided to push forward regardless with my Balefire Acolyte, who activated, cast Malign Influence onto the Legionary Heavy Gunner over here, which means that his Reaper Chain Gun now has the Lethal 5 Up, No Cover, and Brutal keywords. Brutal doesn't, a key, uh, doesn't apply for this one, but it's very nice indeed until the end of the turning point which is also going to be very useful for overwatch and then he's moved all the way over here and taken up refuge underneath the scrap tower so back to beanie oh and i should have mentioned that i moved him to conceal as well to make sure that he stays hidden this brave young soul over here has jumped up on top of the barricade and is shooting down onto the shrive talent so let's see how we get on not Ooh, bad not bad at all no. so one crit one regular hit let's see if i can Oh man, I missed the dice tray again, but I've got one successful one. I'm just going to roll another one of these dice here. Ooh, not so good. So I only retained one, so that means that I'm going to be taking the full crit of... Three. Three damage, bringing him down to nine wounds. <laughs> Damn you! In response, the Shrive Talon's going to flip over to and say it with me, kids at home. Gosh. Uh, and we are going to shoot his bolt pistol up into this guy over here, and then we're going to try and run away. I mean, uh, reposition ourselves. So, uh, yeah, tactically. So here on threes... Okay, so I'll one big crit. I, I try to keep it out the, of the thing. So um, like you get to retain one for being in cover, though. Okay, well, I will retain that one, and I'm now going to fish for the six. Yes, you are. I you didn't get it. So you take the full four damage of that one there. Bring him down to E. Oh, no, no, no. And he's wounded for his trouble, but he's still in the fight, <sighs> and that is the most important thing. And now I'm going to whisk this guy away, who's going to appear. I've now finished my move over here. So he's holding objective number three now. So the Flamer now hopefully going to toast this guy's buns. He's got how many attacks? It will be five attacks. Five attacks, but hitting on the twos. On the twos, and because he was within the... He re-rolls the one. Re those nice, ones. indeed, indeed. And it's a good thing that he is. <laughs> yes. There he is. Okay, so it's a uh, three save. They don't do anything different, do they, for the, um, the crits on this I one? I don't think so, no. <gasps> Okay, but I made all bar one, but they're two damage a piece. I am yes. going to spend one CP to re-roll that one there. Cool. So I block three of them, but that means I take three, so I take six damage Four in damage. total. Oh, it's only because there's, there's only five hits, remember? Five and hits. You oh, three. Uh, you are correct, my friend. Okay, so I'm down to five wounds, and it means that I am unfortunately wound. Dead. Dead. So I have flipped over the empowered Reaper Chain Talon uh, oh, wielding oh, guy oh, over oh. there. Chain Talon, uh, you know what I mean. Chain Gun. Big Gun. The Big Gun over here, uh, over to Ungaj. And that means he's now going to fire down at the Melter Boy over here with six shots. Now I'm re rolling ones because of Ceaseless. And I get uh, to count my lethals on a five up because he is empowered. So let's see how we do. Pretty good. Uh, not that great. But he gets to re roll those ones. <laughs> yep. So could you just. Oh, mate, you have absolutely let me down. It is two hits all the way through right there. So, oh, well, a it's, it's a just, AP just what it is. Uh, there is no AP on this one, my friends. So it is two saves of five. Oh, sorry, three dice. Be careful for that. Oof. Made well, two. I'm paying one CP then for Veterans of the Long War. I, c I made no damage against you. So that means that I get to make that entire attack again. So hopefully, hopefully yeah, he'll yeah, do a yeah, bit cool. better this time. There we go. Oh, there we go. So it's all hits there. I don't need to re-roll any of them. And because one of them was a crit, I'm booping one of them up to a crit as well because of his zinch powers. Okay, yeah, so... He's dead. Uh, one block by one. So he takes a grand total of five for the first one. Six, seven, eight, nine. Yeah, okay. So he is, he is dead. 
thankfully, man, I didn't need to work that hard for that, mate, but you showed up in the end. Okay, and then for the rest of his move, he's gonna do absolutely nothing but just sit there and smile. Beanie responded by moving his medic over and healing up the captain to full, and now it's my overwatch, so I'm going to go back over to the Reaper guy over here because of the fact that it said until the end of the turning point he gains all the benefits of malign yes. influence. It means that he'll be hitting on fours, but re-rolling ones, and gets the no-cover rule and all the other fun stuff as well. Ceaseless. Ceaseless and all the other junk. So let's go, baby. Okay, so re-rolling those ones, but he's got two crits so far. Bub go over there. So he saved one regular, two regular, but in f uh, that one counts as a crit as lethal five up. So unfortunately, don't block that. He's so it dead. is. He is dead. He is dead. Cool beans. Okay, but that is the end of all of my activations, and now Beanie gets to move all of the rest of his kill team. So, uh, this regular guardsman has moved around to claim objective number two, and he's shooting at the injured Shrive talent over here, so let's see. Oh, and just to let people know, I also finally healed up my commander back to full after the first turn disaster <laughs> of his life. Okay, so here we go, hitting on fours. Ooh, only Ooh. the one hit, worth a re-roll on any of these. Mm, yeah, why not? Because I got one three CP. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yep. So a uh, one save of three up, and he makes it. So no damage done today, at least. But at least I hold that thing. You do indeed. So here we are. All of the rest of the movement has been done, and Beanie has basically piled everyone into the middle there to make sure that he holds onto that objective. Very smart indeed. So that means at the end of turning point two, he scores two points. I score one point, bringing us to two to four in Beanie's favour. And at the end of this round, we will be rolling a dice. I will roll this time to remove uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four. Number two has gone from the battlefield. Why number two? And now it is time to roll for Snackdivation. Oh, baby. Do. Oh, it's two. Ah, oh, it's a one. It's way dang, worse. dang, dang, <laughs> dang. Okay, so Beanie gets the first activation as we move into turning point, the third. At the beginning of turning point three, Beanie has spent one CP for take cover, which means that he gets to save on fours instead of fives. Very useful indeed. And he's also embarked out the order of aim, take aim, which means he gets to reroll ones again. And that will affect obviously that guy and also the Flamio over there, who is pretty much guaranteed to eliminate this Shrive talent, but he's going to have to try. Uh, I get my free strategic uh, ploy thing for my Mark of Chaos leader, which I'm going to put as delicious agony again. So that means if they're injured, I get to resolve two attacks against them instead of one. Hopefully that will mean I kill everything that I get into combat if I get into bloody combat. I know what you're saying at home. Get into combat, Jules. I will, eventually. So, uh, activation. Flamer going yes. in against the Shrive Talon. So please, roll your dice and re-roll those ones if you get any. Ooh, so all five of them hit. Will I be able to save my boy? Will I be able to save him? Let's see. I do get three hits uh, through, so he only takes four damage in total. So he's down to one wound. Excellent. Oh, he's still alive. That's fine, I think. Ow! <laughs> My bones! Albini, that's right, has ended his move by charging yeah. in against me, which means that unfortunately I'm now tied up in combat and I don't think that I can kill him uh, because he's not wounded, so I don't get to resolve two of my attacks against him and I only have one wound so he only needs one successful thing there so I'm gonna need to think creatively in order to try and get my Shrive Talon out of danger. Can I do it? Well let's find out. Now the thing is is that I don't even know how to resolve this at the moment so I'm just choosing to ignore it like any of my problems in real life and I've gone completely the other way and uh, I've activated my Chosen who's leapt across the barricade and he's moved around to the base here, finished his movement, remember he gets plus one because he's slanesh keyword, he's gonna fire up with his plasma pistol into there and then hopefully dash into cover over here. So let's roll those four big bones uh, looking for threes. He has only got the one. Oh. I re -roll one. Oh, I am re-rolling one, man. I want him dead. Cool, right? Good, so, there's, so AP AP minus one, one. So I've got to get two fives here. Yeah. Because he's not in cover to a guy pointing at his back. No, sir. I didn't get one. See, he's the thing is, it was dead. just so worrying. So, okay, so he's dead. Fine. I'm down go. to one CP. Thank you very much. And then he's going to dash into cover over here and just have a little word with himself and think, ooh, oh. Sanalesh loves a bit of agony, but not when it comes to my own bloody morale. Krieg are apparently the new Space Marines because they know no fear and he has charged forward to take on the Shrive Talon. Now, here's where things get saucy and slash or interesting because the Shrive Talon, while being only on one wound, is not in as much danger as a person with 
none of the abilities I'm about to express. Uh, Vicious Reflexes oh. is, uh, allows me to attack first instead of the uh, attacker, which is quite nice. Five attacks hitting on threes, threes and fives with a lethal of fives. Oh yeah, but hitting on fours, so I'm wounded. So please, roll your dice and then I'll roll mine. And then so we'll I'm hitting on threes because there's two of me. Indeed. Well, he's definitely dead, no matter what. So it's a case of... Let's figure can out you what... do fine damage back to me for fun? Yes, you definitely can. Okay, I mean, there's no way that I can stop him from doing that. So I will just do my five damage to him and then take my big punch in the face and Oof. die. Yes. So he has been hoofed indeed. By this he man is on two wounds and very wounded. But, but you know what? He just killed a space marine. My Shrive Talon is gone! Well, here we go. Brave manoeuvres going on. We have flipped over the uh, Balefire Acolyte to Ngarge, and we have gone for a charge against the flamethrower over here. And I have got a lovely fell dagger. Five attacks, hitting on threes, threes and fours with demonic energies. What? Means that... Each time I retain a critical hit, the target suffers two mortal wounds. Now, I have got the Zinch keyword, uh, which only applies for ranged attacks, but still, I feel pretty confident that I should be able to boy off this guy here if I am lucky. So, oh, I've already dropped one of my dice, but luckily there's a spare one over here. So, hitting on threes, babies. Cool, there's two critical hits, so that is four mortal wounds straight away onto that guy. Okay, so four mortal wounds, and I will do another four damage straight away, killing him outright. Goodbye. Fantastic. And then I will turn my attention to the other guy here, the wounded man, and I will fire my fell, uh, sorry, my tainted bolt pistol right into his face. Four attacks hitting on threes. It has balanced, which will, I think it allows me to re-roll something, but I will just double check. Ooh, I hope that, let's just check out the, uh, the balance keyword here. Uh, I can re-roll one of my attack dice. Reroll in. Oh, I get to retain one as a critical because it's uh, five up. Excellent. So that so five. Two crits. So two crits against. Crit in the safe. He's still alive, but Ooh. I control the objective because I hey, am a I'm space marine. Yeah, it's fine. It's fine. He still he still controls the objective, but it means that guy is annoyingly still alive. I hate it. I hate it. I hate it. In response, Beanie has moved his sniper all the way up to the tippy top of the pump, and he is going to uh -huh. fire down at the chosen over here. How many shots? Four shots. Hit on two. Indeed, he do. Got a CP Ooh. there. Yes, sir. Nice. Okay, so no crits, thankfully, but all hits. I get to retain a one for being in cover. Yes. Fantastic. And then... Ooh, We've how much damage will one. it be? So it'll be six damage. Uh, the withering fire of that's going to make me want to spend my last CP for a reroll on this. And it's a save. Phew. So I only take... Three. Three damage that brings him down to Ooh, ten. ten. Woo! Beanie finishes move by putting the sniper down over here, but he is not out of sight of the Reaper chain gun over here. So we are going to fire down. Six shots, re-rolling the ones. Let's go, baby. Ooh, that is not bad in the slightest. Uh, and because he is Zinch, I'm going to pump one of them. Is it the five? No, it's the five becomes a crit. Yeah, so that was yeah. a three. I keep forgetting that. Okay, so... Five hits. Let's so, see. Uh, I retain one for being in cover. You do indeed. And these are saving on fours now yes. because of the fact that he has got that superpower. So, so I stop three. But you take, uh, remove the ones. What have I got left? Two so crits, two effectively. Crits. They are 10 damage in total, so oh, he yes. is dead. Yes. And with his final activation, he did a dash down to the bottom there next to objective number three. So the captain has now moved forward over here and is going to unleash the righteous fury of his bolt gun into the face of the chosen. So it is uh, four shots hitting on threes this time because he's slightly better trained and rerolling the ones for take aim. Yes. Ooh, not Didn't bad at to. all. I'm going to retain one for being in cover. Yep. And I do let two through in total, so that is six damage, I believe. Yes. So he's down to four. Oh, Chihuahua. Now he's, now he's wounded. He is wounded indeed. The Chosen is feeling the heat. I have now moved the plasma gun around the corner, and he's going to shoot his four shots into the... Well, this guy here has survived enough. Hopefully this will put him down for good. He loves it. So, uh, hitting on fours this time because I'm wounded. Oh, he's only got one hit through. No CP to re-roll anything and no crits to bust up. And you are saving on fours, aren't you? No, I'm just be on fives because he's not currently in cover. Okay, so AP one, so it's two saves. Let's see him. There's oh. only two saves. 
but you made the crit anyway, so it doesn't matter. So you've blocked. Just, it's absolutely, absolutely, no, it's absolutely fine. He has survived yet another punishing wave of violence. Yeah. So the, uh, what's he called again? The, the spotter. Uh, spotter veteran. The spotter is going to be firing his horrible amount of explosives straight up into the air and down onto my chosen over here. He gets five attacks, hitting on fours, re-rolling the ones because he got the order. Let's see him. Ooh. Okay, uh, I've still got a CP or two, I think. I okay. just keep knocking it. So I'm going to re-roll one of them. Yes! Cool, okay, so three hits through. Because it's hitting on fours. I get to retain one for being in cover, which I definitely need to do right now, I feel. Ooh, yeah. Ooh, how much damage does it do for the crit? Three for the crit. Okay, so he's down to two, sorry, one wound. Oof. Oof. <laughs> I do not like that in the slightest. However, you know what, just for a joke, I'm going to activate him as my overwatch and he's going to fire at your captain. Let's yeah. go down in a blaze of glory together. Should I put it on hot just for a laugh? Yeah, why not? <laughs> he will be hitting on fives, yes. Oh dear me, let's see if he gets any of these through. He does not get a single shot through. Dang and or blast. So that's my overwatch gone. And now Beanie can hopefully finish the job with his medic. So the medic is now stepping up to the plate to try and finish off the chosen, I assume. Time to do hard. Here we go. Let's Four, go. Four, three rolling one. Ooh. Back to I'm going to re-roll one. It no. wasn't worth it. Okay, so uh, I'm behind cover, so I will retain that one automatically. So I am fine for that shooting attack. Okay. And now he is going to Ooh. move. Okay, so this is how things end. Uh, Beanie put his boy onto the other side of the scrap pile, blocking the path towards that crispy goal over there for the Chosen. Now, I know you've looked at the scores because at the end of that round, I score one. I take it away from Beanie because I have more boys on the point. And... Beanie Ice gets one over there, but he that means that he is one point or two points ahead? Two points. Two points ahead, so I cannot win this one at the end of this uh, next round because we're rolling another dice and one of these uh, points is going away, but I still can play for glory. So this is to see which one gets removed. Ooh, it's removed on there, so it is actually all to play through on point three. So at the end of the game, they may take, uh, may lose the battle, but they will definitely be taking away the Naughty Nun Volume 2. It's it's the uh, Captain Janeway, a final Brazier yeah, thing. Yeah, yeah, it's like, yeah, yeah, it's yeah. gone all the way down and it stopped, and then that's the point that the Chaos they're guys... They're getting up to neck. <laughs> yeah, they're getting neckline, and that is it. The Krieg are just kind of like, well, yeah, I guess we've got the rest of it. Fantastic, cool. We're just a disembodied... Yeah. So, oh, stuff. great. So this isn't creepy at all. <laughs> Okay, so here we are. Turning point four is about to begin. We've got to roll for initiative now. So Beanie, why don't we roll off and see? It is a Ian versus a four. It's finally, finally it is my turn. It's my time right now. And I'm going to get super aggressive with this guy over here. Right, so we're kicking things off by doing delightful agony for the strategic ploy for free, which means that I get to resolve two successful uh, hits in combat if the target is wounded. It won't apply to anything over here or bear any relevance, but it's free, so I might as well use it. Kicking things off with the Chosen, who's coming in with five attacks because he's doing a charge against the medic over here oh, i want him up the dock, i missed. want him dead uh because of the fact that you can bring back your captain if i if i mess this up i only need one successful crit to go through here because it is seven damage and lethals on a five up and if i get any uh if any of the strikes inflict critical damage this operative regains two wounds it probably won't mean much but it's that something, something at least i'll be hitting on threes now because it was twos uh down to three so i'm wounded let's see him these guys suck so much. I'm going to spend my last CP. I've got to. There it is. There's the six. Okay, so I'm going to do the seven damage to you straight away and regain two wounds. It doesn't mean anything, but... So I'm onto three wounds, and then he's going to turn with a malevolent smile on his face, and he's going to shoot the captain in that face with his uh, plasma right. pistol. Hitting on fours. Hitting on fours. There we go. There That's you go. Okay, so that is uh, two successes. So five ups. Made one okay. fail once. So, goes into that. So it's a critical of six, six. damage. So down, to two. down to two damage, and he is also wounded. Uh, that's the end of my thing. I'm not even going to do anything. I'm just going to stand there and laugh. It's time to pie off the chosen now because the power sword wielding captain is going up. He's hitting on fours. Please obliterate him. 
He has obliterated him yeah. just because yeah. that is obviously Six damage. you get to resolve your attacks first and that means he's going to go, oh, my fight money. Okay, so I've moved my Balefire Acolyte up on top of this barricade so we can just chuck a fireball down into the back of the captain over here just for a laugh, isn't it? So um, hitting on threes, four attacks. Whee! Okay, so uh, three go through. There is no AP on this one. Uh, no cover saves on this one though, I'm afraid. So it is three. Oh, no. Ooh, he obliterates him, turns him into cinder. But that is the end what, of... fighting character from Killer Instinct? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cinder! <laughs> and that's the end of the Balefire Acolyte's moves. Over to Bean. So the brave, brave grey soldier has run forward and he's now going to shoot this uh, legionary right in the face. Hit so, on fives. Hit on fives, though, because he is oh, yeah. dead. He gets one. one I cannot retain the cover thing because I'm on the same piece of cover as him. So look at one three. He gets yeah, it just. Fine. Phew. Okay. And now the poo. Okay. So this is the thing. I've moved this guy from here over to here and firing down at this uh, spotter that's over there. Now, I have lost this. This is uh, definitely going to be the case. However, I can reckon I can kill this guy. If I can kill this guy here, I deny the Krieg the smut in the fact that they have downloaded it but have no way to access it because they're all dead. Yep. But the true Slaneshi in me is telling me to overcharge this and put it on hot so it's AP2. But remember, if I roll one single one on these four dice, then that means he is dead before these attacks <laughs> even get resolved. And look who has joined us in the garage. It's Chris! So here we go. Four attacks. Hitting on the fours now, actually, because he's yep. wounded. Into this guy over here, and any ones will kill him outright. In the name of Slaanesh! Let's do it. Yes, he hits Your with faith him. has been rewarded. <laughs> okay, I have one you, save. You are so no, dead. No, no, you're so dead. Oh, me, oh my. That is a lot of damage taken. And that means that I have knocked you off of that point over here. He's done all of his movements and thus he ends the turn. You have... One man. Uh, you have no men left. Well, not to activate, so I get to overwatch. You get to overwatch <laughs> and then I get to finally act with my Reaper guy over here to see if he does anything. So who are you shooting at? You big meanie. Okay, so in he's on hit sixes? Sixes, yes. Yeah, in on sixes now. Oh, he, he got one he, through, he, he, and it does two damage, doesn't it, this? Yes. Oh, okay, so he well, can't, can't die. die. And, but, he he will, save it. but he will take... Uh, oh, no, actually, yeah, because there's only one yeah, thing. Yeah, yeah, so, he's got power on it. Now it is time for the Overwatch with this guy going into him to end this. Unless I should... No, you know what? I'm going to charge in and punch him in the face. I respect that. Yeah, so he's going in there. He, you are wounded, and because oh, he's not Slaneshi keyword actually. How well, many attacks does he? Uh, what You'll is have he? Four attacks with, with his fists. fists. Yes. Hitting on threes, whereas I've got hitting on fives with three attacks. Yes. Okay, so I punch, but luckily I go first, so I <laughs> yes. punch him square on in the back of the head <laughs> like a true warrior. Which means that even though I have lost the battle on points, I have eliminated the kill team entirely. The final score was five points to Beanie and four points to me, if I'm not mistaken. You Is are that? correct. Fantastic. So in the law of this, what that means is that while the Krieg did download most of the Naughty Nun Volume 2, they do not get to read it because they're dead and dead people cannot read it apart from the spooky ghost kill team but that's a completely different story yeah don't get Brobnarian <laughs> law confused people here so what we're saying is is that uh, even though I have the final copy it literally only goes down to the neckline and nothing more which is just so agonising <laughs> that Slaneshi people are actually getting a bit of a kick out of it they're just like yeah actually this is so bad it's kind of great but that's been our kill team today thank you very much for watching I hope that you enjoyed it let us know what you thought about it down in the comment section below and if you want to join the Discord, the link to join is down there as well. Thank you very much. We'll see you soon. Goodbye.